Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, aka for a soul review video for today. For this new aka for a soul review video for today, this is going to be my review on a film that came out last year in 2021, which this is one that everyone's been talking about this movie all over the internet as well as on YouTube. And I really want to review this film last year, but I was seeing a lot of things that was coming out, coming out at the same time as this film was. And I was also reviewing, but since I had nothing else really planned for today, I feel like I should get this video done and uploaded. So here we go. Today's review is going to be my review on the 2021 drama film, and that movie is Pig. Now, Pig, this was written and directed by Michael Sarnowski, and this is his very first film as director. And this film stars Nicolas Cage, where his character is a truffle hunter, and he basically lives in the wilderness on his own with this uh, truffle pig, which he uses to find um, truffles and oak trees. And what ends up happening later on in the movie is that his uh, pig gets stolen and by someone and basically it's up to Nicolas Cage's character where he has to basically return to Portland to basically fig to basically confirm his past and and try and find the person who was responsible for stealing his beloved truffle pig. So that's pretty much the plot synopsis I can, can basically say for Pig. Now, I knew nothing about this movie going into it. Like, I never heard any announcements at first when this film was getting first made. And I never saw the trailers when the first dropped by. The few things that did kind of really intrigue me as well, so interest me at the same time to see this movie was, I started hearing a few people's reviews of this film when this film was getting a lot of praises from both critics and audiences. And I saw a few posters for this film as well. But what really interested me the most to see this film was, of course, the star of the film, Nicolas Cage. And you know, for the man himself, I'm a huge fan of that actor. He's one of my favorite actors ever. And, he, you know, he's just really fun to watch when it comes to his freakouts, which everyone seems to know and love about him. And just, he's well known from all of that, even though not only just that, but he's definitely a really damn good actor. Because, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, he's made some, he had some, he, def, he definitely de delivered some really damn good acting performances. And heck, in, even in the 90s, he won an Academy Award for Best Acting, which was for, um, um, Leaving Las Vegas, which I still, I still have yet to check that movie out. And then the start of the 2000s, he started making some huge hits in that decade. But someone in the middle of the 2000s decade, he, he started making a few films that won that much well received with both critics and audiences. And it was kind of like that in the start of the 2010s decade. But um, but back in 2018, his, his career definitely resurrected with the movie Mandy, which, you know, for that film was much well received by both critics and audiences. And for that film, I definitely really enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty good. And his career definitely boosted up way more back in 2019 when he made another really good film, that definitely, which... Which definitely one hundred, which in which I can definitely say one hundred percent, definitely resurrected his resurrected his career, which which um, the movie was of course um, Color Out of Space, which I also really enjoyed that one too, and so when it came to this film, I was really intrigued to see what he was going to do, what he was going to do for this film, and after reading the whole story for this film, what this was about, and also seeing the posters for this film, at first I thought this was like a thriller where it's basically Nicolas Cage where he's trying to find the person who was responsible for stealing his pig, and he's going to go in John Wick form, where he's going to beat the living devil out of some people, but no, it's not really that. It's actually really a drama, and I haven't seen Nicolas Cage doing a drama in a while, but from what I've heard, he's, he's still, he definitely delivered some good acting performances. So, yeah, and I was wondering when this was going to come out in my area, because this was released back in um, July of last year in the U.S., so I did a bit of research when this was going to come out in my area, and this was going to, and, and, from my, and when I found out this was coming out in August in my area last year, I was really pleased, because I was really interested to see this movie, so I saw this last year in August, and unfortunately, it wasn't playing in my local cinema that I usually go to all the time, so I had to go somewhere else to see it. But after watching this whole film, I gotta say, hands down, this movie is indeed a masterpiece on every single level here, you guys, because I absolutely love this movie. The obvious number one reason to see this movie is, of course, Nicolas Cage, which is acting in this movie. Wow, he is absolutely incredible in this movie here, you guys. He just generally blew me away with everything for what he was given for his character, because what he was given for his character, he just generally gives us all here, you guys. And again, his acting is just... Phenomenal and heck I would even say this is definitely my favorite Nicolas Cage performance I've ever seen in the movie ever and I would even say this is definitely my favorite Nicolas Cage movie ever here because again for what he was given for his character He just like I say just gives us all and again his acting is, is just generally incredible And I liked how this movie mostly focused on him since this is a drama because again at first I thought this was like a thriller where he's basically gonna try and find um the person who was responsible for stealing his pig and then you think he's going to go in John with form, he's going to beat the living devil out of some people and all that, which it doesn't really play out like that because, again, it plays out of a drama since this movie focuses a lot on him. Not specifically his life with this pig. It does kind of question his audiences, like, why does he live in the woods alone and why is this pig so special him and all that and what's this pig good for and all that because there are times when we get to see him, like, like, um, 
like how he cooks food and all that, and we had see some, and we even see some dead animals and all that. Which I can't specifically, I can't specifically describe those thing, those moments in the film like that. But um, also, we had to see him like how he interacts with other characters in the film and the way he interacts with them. I was just genuinely really intrigued in this movie here, you guys. And and since you know Nicolas Cage is well known for three for insane freakouts, there's quite a few in the film, but um, there's not a whole lot of that in this movie, but. And from when I saw that, it kind of it almost kind of questioned me, thinking like, are they just gonna go in John Wick form? He's gonna beat the living devil out of those people who stole his pig and all that. Even though, like I said, it's not really a, a violent thriller. It's not like a, a violent thriller here because, like I said, this is mostly of a drama. And uh, and like and for his character, he's not really a violent person because he never throws a single punch in the film. He mostly gets punches to himself. He mostly gets the punches to himself, and we get to see him when his face is all bloodied up and all that. And which for the makeup in the film, when we can see like Nicolas Cage with a beard and all that, and having blood on his face, I thought the makeup was amazing here in this movie. And also, you also have Alex Wolf in the film, which you may know him from Hereditary, which I thought he was great in that film. But here, yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. And for these two characters, these two actors working together in a film like this, they work so well together here in this movie because, again, their acting is just fantastic. Yeah, and the direction by uh, Michael Sonarski in his ve in his fe feature film debut looks very well nice and looks absolutely incredible and I can't wait to see what else he does in the future and the story it's really engaging and really investing and also pretty unpredictable because there are some scenes where it can be very unpredictable where there's a scene where you think like Nicolas Cage is going to go really over the top where he's, and he's going to like go after those people who, who stole his pig and all that like going in John Wick form and all that even though like I said he's not really a violent man or anything like that because like I said he doesn't throw a single punch in the film because he, he mostly gets the punches to himself and all that and we all seem like bloodied up and bruised and all that. And um, also, um, um, and for when I was, and for the moments we get seen in this movie, that I thought were really intriguing. It, it, it often kind of questioned myself, thinking, is he ever going to get this pig back and all like that? Or is this pig going to be okay or anything like that? I was just, because again, this movie, like I said, I found the story very well engaging and very well investing for this whole film. And this film is kind of a slow film, even though it's not very long. It's not a very long film. It's not like two hours or anything like that because this film is quite short. It's only an hour and thirty one minutes, but it's definitely worth the wear and time. And and I've got no other single flaw. To, I've got not a single flaw to pick out with this movie because this movie, like I said, it's just hands down a masterpiece here on every single level. Like I said, and just like I said before, and. And like I said, this is definitely Nicolas Cage's best performance I've ever seen in the movie. Like I said, his acting is incredible. Everyone else is great in the film. Like Alex Wolf's fantastic. And the direction by Michael Sarnowski, it's, it's very well made. It's got a very engaging, but you also pretty unpredictable story. And the music also fits really well for the film as well, which I've got to mention. Because the music fits really well for a film like this. Because like I said, it, it, it mostly plays out in a few scenes where it is really unpredictable. Where you, where you think like this is going to happen and all that. Which, again... The music, it just, it's just absolutely amazing. And if you missed a chance to see this in cinemas, I highly suggest check this movie out at home if you missed a chance to see this in cinemas. And if you're a fan of Nicolas Cage, don't miss out on this film because you will absolutely love this movie just like I did. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Pig. I'm going to give Pig 5 out of 5. <laughs> Yeah, I can agree with everyone. This is indeed a masterpiece on every single level. And like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite movies of last year. And even my favorite Nicolas Cage movie ever. And even for his acting performance I've ever seen in a movie. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my AK After a Store review on Pig. And let me know what you think of this movie. You have seen this already. If you just recently checked out this movie for the very first time. Did you absolutely love this movie the bits? Or did you not really appreciate this movie? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Fogg's Media Corner signing off.